No. We're live here with John McGuinness, who's uh, just been elected on the 11 counties, uh, reached the quota, passed the quota, um, and deemed elected. Congratulations, John. Thank you very much. Uh, delighted to have been elected, having reached the quota. It's always uh, an achievement to do that. Uh, but I would like to firstly take the opportunity to thank all those who voted for me, who participated in the election uh, and the democratic process. Uh, now the real work uh, begins of forming government uh, for the country. Uh, and I would hope that the discussions around that will happen immediately uh, so that we can have a truly stable government uh, as soon as possible and perhaps before Christmas. What's your preference? Uh, well, the preference I think expressed by the people was for a stable government. So if Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael give that stability with an added minor party or a number of groups, depending on the seats that you know we have at the end, um, well, once it's stable, once there's a programme for government that will be implemented in a tangible way to affect the people, lives of people, um, then that's what we should all be focused on. As my preference, you know, we've worked before with Fine Gael. Things have changed now after five years. Um, and I think that the election has probably taught us all a lesson in terms of how the electorate view politics. Uh, and then the smaller parties then will be worried about the risk when they look at the, at the Greens. Um, but when an agenda is put together that's sensible, uh, I think you'll attract others. Um, it, it's where you're focused on a team like the Greens were uh, that it's quite possible you'll put people off or you'll be over ambitious and it'll affect the lives negatively of people. So I think common sense and we will find suitable partners to provide that stable government. I've often heard people calling for a merger of Fine Gael, Fianna Fáil, the former left-right divide in Ireland, but it's also people who are outside of those two parties calling for it. Yeah, but if you look at what has happened, uh, you know, I remember years ago saying there was no great difference. In fact, the phrase I used was there wasn't the thickness of a ballot paper of difference between Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael. And what emerged after that, the confidence and supply, uh, that sort of paved the way with membership of both parties I'm no fan of confidence and supply. I didn't like it, we didn't vote, and we tied ourselves up. But then after that then, the next, I suppose, natural step after that was a coalition uh, with Fine Gael. What will happen thereafter, you know, I don't know, but I, I can't see uh, a merger in my time in the Dáil anyway, um, because there's always, you know, issues that arise, there's a different emphasis on policies, and there is still, a lingering, um, I suppose, reference to the civil war politics. But the country has moved on, parties have to move on, and individuals and parties have to move on and realise that, you know, we're now shaping a different Ireland with challenges. We've lost a minister in Malcolm Noon, and Joe Malone uh, earlier called for you to be made a, uh, should the three seats be pulled off, uh, be made a senior uh, minister uh, going forward. Would you serve if you were asked? I would, yeah. I mean, I, I've been, as I said, chairman of the Finance Committee, uh, chairman of the Public Accounts Committee, and was minister uh, for Trade and Commerce. Um, and in any capacity, even if it's a backbencher, I will do the job as best I can. Uh, and in any job that I've had politically, uh, I've put the, you know, the, the ego to one side that one might get when you're offered a position. And I've always kept my feet on the ground and worked hard for people or for the country. Uh, and then you, you referenced Malcolm Noonan. Malcolm Noonan did an exceptional job as minister. He was all over the country in terms of, you know, what he loved best, which was nature, nature restoration, uh, the, the green agenda, and he was sensitive about it. Uh, and, you know, when you look at what he did, and he hasn't won a seat, you know, it raises the question about Irish politics about getting in and doing a job and at the same time then having to manage your potholes and your medical cars and your housing and all of those other uh, local issues and there's a balance to be struck. Uh, but he did a good job and, and I, I, I uh, acknowledge him uh, for that. The tide was out on the Greens. It seems going into government is political weed killer. Uh, I, yeah, I, I just think that they went too far. Um, they went too far ahead of the public. They didn't bring the audience with them. They didn't bring the electorate with them. And what they were asking for required others to be funded to achieve it. Farmers, for example. Uh, and they weren't funded uh, properly. So some of the schemes uh, just um, played negatively for, for the farming sectors. 
Uh, and, and that's what can be different about another government. It can be green, it can be sensible, uh, it can apply common sense policy. And in whatever you're doing in the future, in, in government, particularly this government, it has to be done with the stakeholders on board. So whether it's small business or whether it's agriculture or the carers or anybody else, you have to have the stakeholders on board. You have to be working in unison with those that you're trying to achieve targets with. And I don't want to hold you up because you have a lot of people to talk to and I'm sure you're going to go celebrate, but four seats left, how do you call it? Uh, I think that, as I've said, through this campaign, uh, three seats are um, on, I think, for Fianna Fáil. Um, and the, you know, it's hard to call the last seat, but the Fine Gael seat in Carlo, that's where it's going to go. Um, our our uh, Carol, Jennifer Murnane, uh will be in the mix. Um, so there's a lot of change, and that's reflecting the change that we saw during the election uh, in the mood of people and in how they express that then. Uh, and I like to learn lessons from elections, and there's lots of lessons to be learned from this election. John, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah. Nice to meet you.